the rate of emission the rate of emission is, if you still remember rate means how fast something occurs so rate of emission means how fast the emissions okay how fast of emissions occurs or how many electrons emitted in one second if it's very fast then a lot of electron is uh, emitted okay if it's uh, very slow then uh, just a few electrons emitted so the rate of emission is affected by four factors means how many electrons uh, released uh, is uh, affected by four factors okay the first one is the temperature the temperature this logic right okay if the temperature is very high then the more electrons will be released if, if the temperature is high then more electron will be released in one second uh. and uh, the second one is the surface area of the heated metals uh, of course bigger area will release more electrons right type of metal so so for certain metals, the attraction force between the electrons and the nucleus is very weak. Eh? Okay, for example, so, uh, let me show you. Okay, lithium. Eh? Lithium, lithium is uh, the electrons arrangement is two one. Eh? Two electrons, one electrons, and sodium. Sodium is two eight one, two eight one. Eh? So for these two metals, eh, which one do you think it can release electrons easier? lithium and sodium which one can release the electrons easier so sodium yes because because the distance between the valence electron and the nucleus is very far it's very far therefore the attraction force is relatively weak and if the force is weak these electrons can jump out easier compared to lithium and lithium the force is stronger because this electron is closer to the nucleus so you see different types of metals uh, has a different rate of emissions okay some can release electrons easier like some is very hard to release electrons eh? so types of metal also are factors that affect the uh, release of electron or the rate of emissions eh? and the last one the last one is the coated materials on the surface of the metals so you have a piece of metals you have a piece of metals and then you coat it coat it with another uh, metals or sometimes it's oxide, eh? okay, oxides of metals. So if you coat it with some other materials, eh? okay, then uh, it may uh, release more electrons per second. Okay, that is called the coated materials on the surface of the metal. I will explain to you why, eh? why we need to have these uh, coated materials later, because after this we will discuss uh, on the in the detail, eh? okay, how temperatures and the types of this uh, surface area and types of metals and coated material affect the rate of uh, emissions so these are the four factors that affect temperatures of metals when the temperatures of the metal increase the emission rate of electron will increase this sounds uh, reasonable is because uh, when the temperature is high then some more electrons can uh, jump out from the atoms eh? okay so let's say this is a shell okay uh, so more electrons can jump out if the temperature is high because uh, when temperature is high more heat energy is supplied to the electrons eh? when the electron absorb the heat it will jump out uh, from the shell jump to the higher levels eh? okay jump out jump jump and then after that it will jump out from the atoms so this sound reasonable eh? higher temperature more electrons release eh? surface area so let's say we have uh, two pieces of metal one is small another one is big so the small one can release electron and the big one of course the big one can release more electron if heated right okay if it has a bigger area bigger surface area then more electrons can be emitted compared to a small area okay so uh surface area increase the rate of emission also increase uh, okay uh, type of metal I think I explained to you just now right when we compare lithium and sodium eh? okay then you will find that uh, sodium can release uh, electrons easier compared to lithium because the attraction force between the uh, valence electron and the nucleus is uh, weaker okay surface of metals eh? why we want to coat a metals eh? uh, we want to coat a metal with another materials okay uh, for example barium oxide and strontium oxide now barium oxide and strontium oxide it can release electrons easier okay barium oxide and strong tip oxide it can release electrons easier then why not we just straight away use uh, barium oxide we can use a piece of barium oxide okay a piece of barium oxide and then so it can just release electron because it can release electrons easier right but the problem is if you use barium oxide it's very 
very difficult for us to heat barium oxide because barium oxide is not metals uh, it cannot conduct electricity okay so it's very hard for us to heat barium oxide uh, and the temperature also increased very slower because the specific heat capacity is uh, is high so therefore the temperature will increase very slow okay so it's not practical eh, for us to have a piece of barium oxide as the emitter okay normally eh, what we do is we have a filament we have a filament this filament uh, when there's a current flow eh, the temperature can increase very fast so that's the functions of the filament eh? okay the filament is to uh, is to increase the temperature at a very short time so when there's a current flow the temperatures of the filaments will increase very fast but the problem is these filaments the, the temperature can increase very fast and increase until very high but it's very hard for the filaments to release electrons so the filament cannot release a lot of electrons eh? so therefore in front of these filaments we will put a piece of metals we will put a piece of metals this is the metals eh? can release electrons very fast okay and the temperature can also release very fast but if you if you connect the electricity to these metals the temperatures of the metals will not increase very high okay uh, but this one uh, when you connect to electricity the temperature can increase to a very high temperature but this one no so we use this filament to heat these metals this filament to heat this metal this metal can release electrons easily but the temperature uh, when you connect to electricity yeah, okay the temperature won't increase very high but this one the temperature can increase very high yeah? okay but still the electron that release is not enough okay it's not enough huh, for certain purposes so therefore we coat it we coat this metals huh, with uh, barium oxide or strontium oxide on the surface huh, we coat it with uh, barium oxide and strontium oxide now barium and strontium oxide can release electrons very fast so the function of the filament is to increase the temperature up to a very high temperature and these metals is, is heated by the filament and uh, it can supply electrons uh, it can supply electrons and the strontium oxide or the, or the barium oxides uh, on the surface uh, is used because they can release a lot of electrons okay because in cathode ray oscilloscope we need a lot of electrons uh, a lot of electrons to produce the light spots on the screen so that's why we have this uh, surface of the metals coated with uh, barium oxide or strontium oxide uh, 